Hi, this is Alfonso from AXM. Happy New Year to all. I'm taking this video today, December 31st, 2020. Uh, I'm two hours away from celebrating the New Year. Happy New Year to all of you. Today I'm presenting the uh, tutorial videos to assemble the Starship SN8 metallic version paper model. And here it is, you can see a beautiful model and one uh, hundredth scale. The same as um, the MK1 that I presented uh, a few months ago. And you could see uh, in my playlist all the uh, assembly videos for the MK1, which is actually the same vehicle, but with a little differences on the exterior. Also, the canards and wings are slightly different, and the umbilicals and etc. So we're going to talk about that in detail. Now, as usual, the way I like to present these is um, I'm going to do a walkthrough through the, uh, um, with a PDF file that you will need to download. Okay, so here it is. Um, it consists of uh, 29 pages, out of which 8 need to be with uh, metallic paper. All right. So here it is, you are very uh, familiar with CND's uh, shapes. These are the rings that form the nose cone. And um, by the way, each paper is going to tell you what type of material you need to get, either metallic paper or cardstock paper, like what it says here. So these two first pages are the rings that will form the nose cone. These ones are the connectors for the rings. Now, these uh, next uh, pages are optional. I decided to make the header tank. And these are the uh, parts that will need to go inside the nose cone. But all these two pages are optional if you decided to do that. Here is a diagram how the parts go together, um, the header tank inside the nose cone, and these red areas are actually these three rings here that you see. Um, now we go to the five segment uh, ring stack uh, of the Starship SN8. This, is, this has to be printed on metallic uh, paper and actually you have to score all or mark all these lines this uh, these two parts uh, will go inside the uh, five ring stack and here we start the body um, these two uh, parts uh, will form a uh, an, the upper section of the body um these are these two pages will make the bottom section of the body here we have umbilicals and i mentioned that you can uh, and i wrote here that you can print this on either cardstock or decal paper uh, you will need to cut these individually and glue them or paste them on top of uh, corresponding uh, locations on the model uh, here are the connectors, so this is cardstock connectors and it will tell you where to put them. Now, here are the uh, canards, um, a metallic uh, paper, and this uh, complements this page because these are the tabs. All this page has to be printed on cardstock. These are the tabs that will connect the canards. The same way with the wings, this is metallic paper. The skin you see here, it will it, it needs to be printed on metallic paper, and here are the uh, paper connectors for the wings. These are you are familiar with these uh, two shapes. These are actually the wing supports that will go on each side of the vehicle. And here are the, um, the former. 
Now, this this page is optional. If you decide to uh, make the upper dome included in between the two segments of the body, that is optional. Uh, but still, it needs a former. And here, this red line here, it's where you where the former needs to be placed. This is the um, the distance from the top up from the edge of this um, this drawing all the way down is 20 millimeter 24 millimeters in, uh, in, in height uh, or in depth where you have to, where the upper dome has to be placed if you decide to do that um, these are the parts that will make the upper dome and it the the new feature um, of the starship sn series have a tesla battery and the Tesla battery needs to be placed here where it's indicated in the upper dome. Here is a diagram that will tell you how it's, uh, how it's uh, located. These are uh, two more formers that will um, be needed to shape the rest of the, uh, the rocket. And this is the bottom section, the engine section, the interior wall of the engine section. Uh, there are a lot of markings here that the following page, ex, uh, page explains what are those for. Uh, these are the COPVs um, that need to be here. Each one has a number and it will tell you where to be placed. If you compare this diagram with these two uh, parts, if you stitch them, here is where they need to be stitched together. These black markings are where you would need to place the COPVs and here are the numbering in that order you need to be placed uh, the, you need to place the COPVs this little uh, diagram indicates that the second Tesla battery it's uh, this is the location for it let's continue this is the base ring that will hold uh, that will go all the way at the bottom of the vehicle and that will hold the legs. All these parts um, will make the legs. Um, now the next page is about the um, the bulkhead dome of, of of the engine section of the vehicle that will house the the three Raptors. All right. This is the uh, the thrust puck. Uh, with three uh, locations for the Raptors and here are the Raptors three and the uh, and you're already familiar with this uh, when you assembled um, uh, the MK1 vehicle this page is a back print of this meaning that um, when you cut this part the the Raptors the engine nozzles inside will be colored dark and finally, here is a reference page, and you can see the comparison how the vehicle looks from the front and the back. Important to notice is the uh, the hinges of the um, of the aero surfaces. In this case, the canards. You can see the hinges here and the hinges of the wings. Look, this part there are no hinges. It's because the wings and the canards move only towards the back. In this case. The back is where you're going to see the wiring, all these cables, all these umbilicals. That's the umbilical area. And therefore, the hinges have to be facing to the back. All right. So that is very important when you are uh, assembling the model. All right. And um, there it is. That's the PDF file. 29 pages, only eight are needed to be printed on metallic paper.